Hello everybody, my name is Afterburner and welcome to a special iRacing video where we will find out if a GT3 car can actually hit 300 kilometers an hour. Um, let's start with the BMW because I think this one is the less likely to even hit 300. So, let's see. I'm gonna tune the car now so it's, um, it's going as fast as possible in a straight line. Uh, let's do like 15 liters. Uh, wing angle, of course, all the way down. Okay, we can all go all the way down to zero. I swear it was like minus two or minus four you could do before the patch. Um, so yeah, uh, minimal cambers, of course. The car will drive like shit, but it's a top speed run, so who cares. By the way, I'm running at Le Mans, as you can see, the version without chicanes. Um, oh, minus two is the... We can't go uh, higher. Um, right high, too high. Okay. All the way down, boy. All the way down. I can go even lower. Oh, that's too low already. Uh, it's reaching its limits. Okay, 121. Alright, it's like almost level now. No rake at all. Um. I can also do some spring adjustments, but let's see. You got about five laps. We have about two laps of fuel left. Whoa, <laughs> this car now, man. It handles like shit. Okay, here we go. Here's the straight. To 60. 70. Seventy nine, eighty, eighty one, eighty two. Oh, it's running out of gears. No, it's not gonna make it. So, yeah, two eighty three, I think I saw, was the, um, was the top speed of the BMW. So, here we are with the Audi. Audi um, uh, wing A 15 liters of fuel there we go minimal cambers Oh, it's like huge camber now. Uh, huge rake, sorry. Yeah, yeah. 515. Right hand, 1 4. How? How is this even possible?
weird. Okay, let's see. I mean, the BMW wasn't even able to hit 290. You have about five laps left. On. You have about two laps of fuel left. Wait, did I... I think I forgot the gearing. The BMW has no uh, gearing adjustability. At least I think so. Um, what does this car have? I swear the Audi has a gearbox option. Did they delete the, the gearbox options? What? I'm such a noob in GT3 car, so I didn't don't know the patch notes. Did they really delete the gearbox? Okay. That's weird. So, a big chance that this car is also going to run out of gears. Maybe all the cars will and it's not even possible. Oh, Rib up. already in 6th gear, it's not looking good for the Audi. Eighty-three, eighty-four, eighty-five, eighty-six, eighty-seven. 84, 85, 86, 87, at least it's going higher than the BMW, 88. Kind of run out of gears. It has to. 88, 89. No. 89 is gonna be. So on to the next car, which will be the Ferrari. Okay, so I'm back with the Ferrari. Um, did they delete all the gearbox settings for all the GT3 cars? I think they did. Which is a shame. Uh, maybe it, it is against like the GT rules or something. That's why they uh, deleted it. Sprinch buffs, that's... Oh! Okay. Um, wing setting. 5 is most down for service. Yeah, okay. Take out the fuel. down to like 50, 55, okay. Uh, 49, 48. Okay. For now I'm not gonna bother with cameras though. It's more a question of um, 
We all the gear ring hold up. Or we all run out. It feels always really fast when I drive the Ferrari, but the car is not really that fast actually. It's really slow in this BOP. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it's already hitting the limit there. 85, 86, 87, 88, 90. Although, 92. We're getting closer, boys. We're getting closer. So, 92 kilometers an hour for the Ferrari. So dumb. Okay, so I'm back with uh, the AMG, the Mercedes. Um, I think this car runs uh, faster without bumper rubbers. None. Okay, so it's. Okay, that's a completely different baseline then. Um, If the Mercedes doesn't make it, it's uh, onto the McLaren or the Ford. I think this is gonna be like the first car that has even a chance of making it. The Mercedes was an absolute beast in the last uh, BOP. Feels really nice. You have about two laps of fuel left. Seven, eighty-eight. It's not hitting the limiter yet. It's 89. So on to the, the fourth, I think. Drain all the fuel out of it. A, there is a final drive option with the fourth because I think it didn't get a BOP. 
So the Ford might be the only car capable of hitting um, 300 kilometers an hour. So I'm gonna tune this one a little bit better. So basically if this car would race, um, I don't think it's... Is it? Is it in the GT3 series right now? I have no idea. Of course we still have the rough, so we might have to try that one out. Technically it's a GT3 car. All the way down, boy. All the way down. Okay. Uh, two in minus. It's always faster. Minus already right here. Wing setting two is least downforce, so we go with two. You got about five left. You got about two laps left on fuel. Yeah, I think this one stands a good chance. <laughs> Please, don't get a slow down. They say you cut the course, so you have to slow down and give up the time gain. Ah, uh, the straight is long enough. Oh well, I'll take the slowdown. Two eighty, two eighty three, eighty four, eighty five, eighty six, ninety, ninety one, ninety two, three. They're throwing out the black flag. Yeah, yeah, I know. No. They nerfed the fort! 94. So, so far, the fort is the fastest in a straight line with 94 km 294 kilometers an hour. It's also running out of gears on the tall gearing. So, it's on to like the um, McLaren. Or maybe the Rough. I don't know. Okie dokie. Uh, back with the McLaren. Which does not have a final drive option, it seems. But this car is a beast in a straight line. So should be able to hit 300, or at least 95. I hope so. Unless they nerfed it. Which I think they will have done. Because all the GT3 cars have had a nerf. for now. Feel like ride height and wing setting is the most important one. Uh, 
You have about two laps of fuel left. <laughs> don't spin it, don't spin it. It's not looking good for the McLaren. It's not looking good at all. <laughs> no way! Is it really the slowest in a straight line now? I mean, I think the BMW was slightly slower. Really not good for the McLaren. 87. Okay, interesting. Our last hope the rough RT12 R track. A car that has been retired from Blanc Pain. Um, or Blanc Pain. even work. <laughs> Sprint profs I guess. Uh, no, it needs to go up I guess. Of course you don't go, you don't change the ride height's life on the fly. I need to click apply every time. Let's go with 90. Thanks. No. Doki. You have about five laps left on you. <laughs> Technically, the last GT3 car. Ford GT2, uh, the really old one. I know that one goes uh, like 310, 312, something like that here on the straight at Le Mans. So that's a GT car that is able to hit 300. Got about two laps left. Oh no. This one is really slow, it seems like.
So I guess there's your answer. A GT3 car is not able to hit 300, at least not in this build of iRacing. The Ferrari was like closest, I think, or no, it was the fourth, for GT3. Uh, second place is the Ferrari, and third, I guess, um, is the Audi, I think. more than the course. Uh, such joy is old. Look like Porsche. <sighs> well on that bombshell would Jeremy Clarkson would have said. I um I hope you guys have enjoyed uh this iRacing video and uh, see you on the next one. Goodbye.